Today, we're going to have a pretty short and straightforward session on how really to end the rejection, which makes life so difficult. You know, I saw a, 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 um, a complaint from somebody, uh, you know, an objection, and they said, and the person said that I don't have anybody to sell to. Okay, so whoever said that, can you tell me, is that, was that a comment that you were making? Or was that w one of the so-called objections that you got? Which one was that? Can you just respond and tell me in there? If it was you who said that, or was it an objection that she said, oh, I don't have anybody to sell to, right? Like that? Okay, okay, okay. So you must have been good to see. Yes, totally. So it must have been that you were talking about the business to her, right? Because otherwise she wouldn't have said that, right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, there are very interesting ways to, um, to talk to people. I was on a radio show this morning and they had like 300 different channels. And that was one of the big questions people had. What do you say in the first place so that you could kind of <laughs> persuade them? And if it's the wrong person, then you're not gonna persuade them unless you really wanna be seen as an ultra salesy person that doesn't let go. And then you know how, how that sometimes you lose your friends, right? But there are ways to position yourself so that if it's the right person, they come to you. Who is more interested in learning how to position themselves so the right people come to you rather than talking to every Tom, Dick, and Harry out there? I mean, haven't you had it with talking to every Tom, Dick, and Harry out there? I know, uh, right? Yeah. And they want you to do that because, of course, then they hope maybe you're going to score. But what happens to you is you, you die a little bit every time. I, every time. And it's, uh, it's, I don't think it's anything funny. It's really, really hard. Here, where's my video? I didn't mean to lose it. There we are. Okay. So here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to end rejection. I'm going to show you at the end a five-day challenge that we have. And some of you know we do some very high-ticket programs, 24,000, 12,000, 8,000, 5,000. And then we have smaller ones, you know, 100 bucks, $5, so we have a whole range of things, and this is at the way lower end. So if you're worrying, oh my God, at the end, she's gonna hit me up for 10 grand. No, 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 we're, we're at the very, very low end here. But regardless of whether you become, you get into the challenge and be, and, and be an ambassador or not, once you see what I'm gonna show you right now, you will never really have to, if you don't want to, hear no from all the wrong people again. You up for that? Let me see if you guys are alive and well, say yes. Let me see, let me see, all right. Wow, Crystal, you have got a fantastic last name. Can people say that when they're drunk or sober and spell it backwards? Ooh, all right, so here we go. Totally great. It must be either Italian or Greek, something sexy down there in that part of Europe, huh? All right, so if you are sick, Italian woohoo, yeah, yeah. If you're sick of hearing no, when you know you can help people. Now this is, I wanna be sure, let me ask, how many of you, now tell true, okay? You think that your product, your service, or your, your business can really help somebody. You are totally, you'd say, I absolutely am confident and certain that what I have can help people because like it's helped me. How many people can say yes to that? Absolutely for certain, for sure. Because if not, I don't really think I can help you very much. You need to find something that you care enough about so that you really want to help the people who have the problem because you got to fix, right? Yeah. Hey, Bill. Good to see you, buddy. Long time no see. All right, good. And now go for no. How many of you have heard go for no? So they tell you, now you're going to get a lot of no's, so just go for no. How interested are you in doing that? Talk to every single person. Get ready to take a rainstorm of no's on your head. And then one in a hundred might say, yes, who likes this idea? You tell me, you want to do that? I mean, some people do that, you know, I mean, they're very, um, I don't know. I would never do that. I can't even imagine. Why would you put yourself up for, for such abuse, right? But I mean, if you want to, if some of you are here going, Kim, I can do that, man. I'm, I'm like, I got it. Hey, be my guest. I'd rather not. So this is for people who would rather not do that. You don't have to do that. And you don't have to pretend that a no really means maybe. 
a no means for, for this moment, and then they're not the one for this moment. That's it. So you have to go to the next one, right? It's like trying on a pair of shoes. If you're size 10 and you keep trying on size eight, how much success do you think you're going to have? You can try it on over and over. How, girls, how many of you have been to a really fashionable shoe shop and you saw a pair of shoes and they're so hot and they're a little bit tight and you think, ah, oh, when I get home, I'll fit into them. And you bought them. Has anyone done that besides me? Anyone, anyone? Or boys? And then, right? And then you get them home. And I did that. I was in uh, uh, um, Italy uh, some years ago. And that's exactly what I did. And it was, um, I bought the shoes. I can't even remember how much they were. They were really pretty pricey. Like, I don't know, 1500 bucks or something like that. I mean, it's pretty pricey for shoes, right? I mean, that don't have diamonds and all that's like right in that range but I love those oh my god when I get home I know I'm going to be able to fit and I don't know why I thought my feet would get skinnier when I got back to the states but I bought them and I wore them one time and I knew I couldn't wear them so I left them in the closet so I could always see them and admire them <laughs> and then finally I had to give them away because I couldn't right couldn't fit so that's kind of what happens with people too we give them back or we <laughs> we give them away so go no for no is not for you okay if you wonder if you're ever going to succeed, if you have to endure constant rejection, if that's you, uh, then I have something for you because it skips all of that, right? So here we go. And it's going to come in the form of this challenge that I'm going to show you here at the end. But right now, I'm going to show you some things you can do right now, okay? So these are some of the objections that we got before. It's too expensive. Have most of you heard it's too expensive? Just type Y or N. Y for yes, N for no. If you've heard that. Okay. If it's too expensive, you know, a lot of people tell you, they say that because, well, you know, you're just not selling it right. No. There are ranges of products you're going to see. And some people buy high end, some people buy low end. And if you don't know anything about that person, you might be wanting to sell a mirror face facial cream for $2,400 and they don't use any facial cream at all. They don't even use ponds for six bucks. So have you got the right person or not? Hello. So too expensive. I don't like network marketing. I don't want shakes. I want to chew my food. I can't sell. No, no, no. That doesn't work. Um, did we get some other things that you had? What did you have from other people? Um, I don't have anyone to sell to. Did you have that? Anything else? Juicy? Better than what I've got here? What is the record button red in the left corner? Uh, that's on our side. So we are recording this so people can see this later. See? Oh, I don't want to be on auto ship. Yeah. I need to check with my husband first. That was one of them. Oh, that's a pain. Girls, you need to be able to do your own thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a scam. Isn't that funny, right? As if they would know what one is. Uh, I don't want to be on auto ship. Okay, what else? Uh, anything else? It's a scam. Oh, I have, to, I have to ask husband. I'm going to put my own commentary there. You don't want to be that person. If you want to spend money to better yourself, you shouldn't have to ask anybody, no matter who you are. You should have the money, figure out how to get it, sell whatever you have to, and get that and improve yourself. How else are you going to do it? Why would you have to, right? You don't want to do that. All right. Any others? I don't have anyone to sell to. I don't want to be on auto ship. Remind me at the end. Oh yeah, no time. Yeah, totally good. That's a really good one. Because hmm. it takes time, you know, to do these things. Any others? Okay. All right. So this is the life of a network marketer. And I would say it's the life of 95, 97% of all the network marketers that are in business. You know, um, Eric Worry, my old friend, we've known each other now for 25, 20, 28 years. We started in the same company together. They're running a, they're having a, an event uh, next weekend. And one day at his recruiting event a couple of years ago, they, um, the, he asked people that were in the room in Las Vegas, they used to have them live before the, you know, the, uh, the pandemic situation and now they combine Zoom and live although this one that's coming up is going to be all uh, Zoom. And what happens is 
what is expected of you? Yeah, I'll answer that one. Um, what happened is he asked people, how many of you in the room have earned enough this past year to pay for the trip and pay for the airfare and pay for the room? Oh, I like that. I don't know how to use the internet. Well, they could learn how. And if they don't want to learn how, it's clearly not something that you might not want to take that on. You might want to send them to someone who teaches basic internet and say, once you know how to use the machine in the world, come on back. Have resources for them so that you can help them get to the next stage. Unless you want to teach people how to use the internet. See, I wouldn't do that. But if I had a bunch of people said, you know, say some of you said, I don't know how to use the internet. We'd figure out, okay, what are, what's a good place to get the ABCs of learning how to use the internet? And I'd Google it and look at the good ones and see what the reviews are and see what people have said and say, you know what? Here's three options. Go learn it and then come on back. You always want to see if you can help whoever you're talking to get to their next step, whatever that is. Because there's a, there's a lot of steps in between where we are now and where we want to be, right? So if you can help the next person, I mean, the person get to the next step, that's always a good thing. All right, so let's, so what I was going to tell you about uh, it, the people in Eric's event last two years ago when they were still live, I think he said, okay, would you raise your hand if you've earned enough? Almost nobody in the room raised their hand. There were, I think, one and a half percent maybe. So they, they had like, Tony Robbins had come that year and I think there were eight or 10,000 people in that session. And there were probably, if there were 300 people that had earned enough money the past year in their network marketing business to come pay for the travel, pay for the rooms, which is probably three, $4,000 there. I don't think there were 500 people out of the 10,000 or 12,000 there that had that 2%, maybe one and a half or 2%. And Eric commented, it's almost nobody. So I'm letting you know that when you think that, oh, this is all I see, this is all I see, it must be me, it must be me. It is not you. It's not you, okay? It's something else I'm gonna show you just what, what it is right now. Okay, so you all have said you can help somebody with what you have to offer, yes? Why, no? Yes or no, tell me the yeses. I wanna be sure that you're there. Because that's required here, you gotta have that. Yep. Okay. How would you rather be seen by the person you're trying to help as an advisor or as a seller? How do you want to be seen? A or S? A or S, A or S. Let me see. It sounds obvious, but if you want to be seen as an advisor, you got to act like one. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So don't worry. Anybody else? Hey, Harriet, good to see you. And Bill, always good to see you. And Jean, yep. Okay, you got it? All right, so here's my question. If you want to become an advisor and if you want to be seen as an advisor to somebody, how is this going to happen if you just keep on hearing no, right? How's it going to happen? Second, a lot of people start things and they don't finish. How many of you are starters, but you're not very good finishers? You start a lot of stuff. Hey, Gary, how are you, buddy? You're a good starter, but you don't, you're not too good at getting to the finish line. How many people say, me, are you a better starter than you are a finisher? Yes? No? You tell me. Yeah, right? Aren't we all good starters? And finishing is kind of like, oh, yeah. It's like the affair, right? The affair is great, and then having to commit beyond that is not so fun. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything. All right, next. How are you going to be somebody who can show up for the people who need you and show up to do what it takes if you keep on getting rejected, okay? These are questions you wanna ask. And how are you gonna lead other people if you keep on hearing no? All right, so if you get this and this speaks to you, let me tell you what's gonna happen in this challenge, All right? We got about five minutes to go. Are you ready for this? It's five days. Have any of you been in a challenge before? Say why you're in. Because if you've never, I'll give you a couple line description of it. You've been in one before? Oh, good, good. <clears throat> yeah, before this year, I've never been in one. I mean, you would think, right? If somebody is like really ancient like me, you must have done 10,000. I had never done one. And <clears throat> this year I did four. I did Russell Brunson's, the five day and the 30 day. <clears throat> and then I did um, 
Um, the challenge guy, Pedro Adeo, I did his, he had a 10 day, I think. Then I did another one, um, another gal had a 14 day revenue challenge. And so I've done three or four of them to see how they're done. And I think I've got a formula that is gonna to be totally uh, fun. But what happens is it's a certain number of days. The one you're gonna hear about is five days. <clears throat> Usually 45 minutes to an hour a day and I'll come on live give you something to do, to, you know, teach you something. And then you, the challenge is you're going to try and do that and bring it back the next day. So you get started on the process. The purpose of this challenge is so that you can sign up three or four new reps or customers by the end of the challenge. You up for that? Then I'll show you exactly how that is going to happen. It's not going to be doing anything that you're doing right now. You ready for that? Who's ready for that? It won't be, you know, business as usual. We have a very different approach. And that's why I think I've built six of these companies to the top over 29 years, usually faster than anyone else ever. Because we know how to skip rejection and there's a way to do it, okay? Without pretending that no is good for you. No. Day one, let me ask you this. If you put your product or your business in front of the right person, do you think that they're as likely to say no? as what people have said to you before. What do you think? Y or N? If you put your thing in front of the right people, <clears throat> are they going to be as likely to say no as they are right now? Yes or no, yes or no. So we have this figured out. If you put it in front of the right people, they're gonna say, oh, let me see a little bit more. Right? That means that if you're getting lots of no's, it's too expensive, yada, 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 all that list of stuff we talked about, are you putting them in front of the wrong people or the right people? So put WP or RP. What are you putting the, your stuff in front of? Right people, WP or wrong people? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna show you. First, you have to get the basics right. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in the challenge, okay? <clears throat> and I'll give you a little bit of it right here too. Number two, day two. You, I'm gonna show you how to create an offer. What is an offer? Okay, an offer is a package of stuff. So most of you are selling like um, products like hair, facial, body, pills, right? Energy stuff. Uh, you might, some of you might be selling credit repair. A bill, what, what do you market again? What's it do for people? Is it energy or, I don't remember now what you market. Andrew, what do you market? What, what do you do for people? What is it that, is it an energy thing, a make money thing? A, oh yeah, you got the weight loss, okay. And then uh, what about Andrew? Uh, Andrew, what do you do? What, what is your, um, Andrew, change your setting for your commenting to panelists and attendees. You see that blue button there? It says panelists, take the second one down where it says panelists and attendees. I think people would like to see your questions. They're good ones. So go ahead and put them in there. Oh yeah, you're the crypto man. That's right. Good. Okay. <clears throat> so I tell you what, I just got an offer today from a crypto person. And I can tell you in a New York second why I didn't go to him for advice. Okay. The guy says, here's what he says, talk, we're talking about creating an offer, right? And an offer that shows that you are an advisor. Are you with me? Remember, not a sale, not a seller, an advisor. An advisor knows the pluses and the minuses. They know the risks and the rewards, both. An advisor will never say, oh, this is what you have to do. Do this, is racing, the history of the world. You're gonna make a ton of money. That's what a seller does. An advisor tells you the other side. So this crypto guy, he's doing um, a, an event with one of my uh, marketing friends. And I think they've got like a couple thousand people in there. And here's what they pitched. Hey, Kim, we're going to have a show today on crypto. And this is the crypto expert who's going to show you how to 10 times your money in the next, I don't know, six months or a year. That was the pitch. Okay, for those of you that are conscious of the difference between an advisor and a seller, what would you add to that? 
to make it a package, not uh, to make it an offer. Here's how to 10 times your money. Okay. That's what a seller does. That's what I got. That's why I'm not there. I didn't go. What might you add if you wanted to be seen as an advisor? Anybody? Take your network marketing business. You want to make a lot of money in network marketing? Here's how to make hundred grand, six figures a month in network marketing or six figures a year in one year. What would you add if you were an advisor? Okay, I'll leave that for the end. What would you add? Think about the downside. Let me, let me tell you, you guys want to build a network marketing business, right? All of you want to build, build a big uh, network marketing business. Am I right? Yes. No. Y N Y N Y N. Right. Right. What you see? Okay. So this is all the upside. So I could say to you, all right, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how to build a giant organization next year. And we do do that with or without your friends, family, or neighbors. What have I done? I'll show you how to do this without that. You always want to show the other side. I can show you how to build a giant business without losing all of your friends. I could show you how to um, navigate the crypto market without losing everything you put in six months later. Do you, are you hearing what we're doing here? We talk about what happens to real people so that you look like an advisor because a lot of people in crypto have lost a lot of money. Sure, everybody, you know, a lot of people got locked out of their accounts and they couldn't get their stuff back. And right now it's on a ride, but you know what comes up normally at some point goes down to some degree. So if you position yourself as I can show you how to do this without having to do that, don't you look like more of an advisor? Have, have, have I sold you on this? Do you get this? That's how you, and I'm going to show you how to do that in day two. Also, your offer needs to include something special from you. Let's say that you, um, you're into skincare and that's, that's your thing. So you could say you know, that you have a product that helps people feel sexy again and get their youthful feeling back, you know, by, with, by having beautiful skin, let's say. And in addition, we're going to show you three tips about foods that really make your skin look older than you are or types of wines that make your skin look older than it is. And that might be a document, a PDF that you create to give to your clients or to lure your clients to you because you have some extra habits, life habits, food, eating, sleeping, hydration that you can add that you know help them get better skin. Do you see what I mean? That's an offer. Say yes if you get that. That's day two. You're going to learn how to do that. Otherwise, you're going to get creamed by Amazon because for most products, that are just products, they're called commodities these days. Uh, for most of them, they, people can get it there cheaper. We all know that. And they may not be exactly the same, but they're close to the same. You can get certified organic from Amazon. You can get, you know, with most of the ingredients that all of us have. So what you have to do with, besides, they, they don't have income attached, but a lot of people don't know how to market, so they, they don't know how to sell at all. So many of you are going to get a couple of hundred customers first, and that'll help you get some money in the door while you look for those, those builders that are harder to find, right? But the key is if you create a little newsletter with tips about how sleeping or uh, foods that are good and bad that help your person get a better skin, they're going to stay with you versus somebody else that just sells the product or just go to Amazon. Are we, have we got it? That's going to be on day two. I'll show you how to create your offer. Okay. So you don't lose to Amazon or to anyone else in your own company. Most of your companies have a hundred to 300,000 reps. How are you going to stand out from them? If you have exactly the same brochure, the same language and the same pitch as everybody else, you got to have that little edge. That's why we got to be number one. I had an edge. I was different and Creating an offer is what makes you different. So it's something more than the product, a little package of things, okay? To help the person 
achieve the reason that they're buying your product, which is more youthful energy, get their sexy back through beautiful hair, beautiful skin, beautiful nutrition, get their energy back. Have I, is that clear to everybody? Just want to be sure. We're going to go on now to day three. On day three, you're going to discover their secret options. So let me ask you something. Let's say you're on the phone with somebody or you're on Skype or on Zoom and you're talking about, you know, your, what you've got. If you know at that time that they're also looking at two or three other things and you know that, you're conscious that this is happening, you don't know what they are, would you present exactly the same way to them and say things like ours is the best and the only one and it's the coolest thing on the planet, which is what the companies, of course, like to tell you to do. Would you say that, yes or no? Why or end? Why not? Christine, why wouldn't you? All right, you wouldn't do that, right? Why? Because you know there are other options. You're suddenly conscious. So you have to position yourself, and I'm going to show you here in a minute, in such a way that they say, ah, oh, I see why yours is different and why I might want that. Yeah, they might need something different. You don't know. But we sure know that we're not the only one and the best one and that doctor, the fact that Dr. Dingling approved it somehow should make that other person buy. We know that, right? When they're looking at other options that are secret to you, you don't know what they are. Yes, no, tell me yes, no. So I know you're awake. All right, good. Okay, day four. You're going to find out their secret language. What is that? That's the way they talk about their problem. See? Like, for example, if you have a skin brochure, it might say, our, uh, this amazing breakthrough product works at the cellular level through the DNA. Right? Doesn't it sound like a typical brochure? But the lady that you're talking to on the phone, what she says is, She's looking in the mirror, she goes, oh my God, these bags look horrible. How am I going to get rid of these bags before I go to work? Do you think she's thinking, is this going to work at the cellular level, at the DNA level? Did Dr. Dingaling approve this? Or is she looking in the mirror going, holy cow, how am I going to get rid of these bags under my eyes before I go to work? Because everybody's going to know I tied one on last night. Wouldn't you want to know how they talk about the problem so that you can make your marketing, hey, if you want to get rid of the baggy eyes before you go to work, here's a 10 second thing you can do. What do you think, Crystal? Isn't that how you want to talk? Like they do, not like the brochure. Okay, so that's day four. And then the last day, I'm going to show you how to show up in your Sensodyne shirt. Who here knows what a Sensodyne shirt is or knows what Sensodyne is? Anybody know what that is? Okay, don't tell. You guys know you're all my fans and studs. Good uh, toothpaste. Okay, good. It's a toothpaste. All right. If all of you have been in big stores like Publix and Safeway and uh, I don't know what the other, these big, big giant supermarkets, you'll see rows and rows of dog food, cat food, cereal, right? And one of the things you're going to see, are you all awake for this? This is going to be your crazy image. Everybody awake? Let me see. All right, here we go. This is going to be what you see. This is a typical toothpaste aisle. Now remember this little line. We are like a toothpaste, each of us. All right, that first one with the blue arrow there, that is called Sensodyne toothpaste. This is a toothpaste. Uh, who knows who it's for? People with what? What problem do they have? Who's got the, who knows what the problem is that people have who buy Sensodyne? Anyone? Yo, Jean, Miguel, yep, yep. They have sensitive gums. That's what they have. This is, this is for people that have sensitive gums. And there are people who buy this toothpaste because when they come shopping, they are thinking, you know, I have sensitive gums. So they might, if they don't know what, which one is which, they're going to look and say, I have sensitive gums. I'm looking for all these toothpaste. And here comes Sensodyne saying, screaming, we're for sensitive gums. We're for sensitive gums. Are they going to buy this one or are they going to buy something else? What are they going to buy if they have sensitive gums? They're going to buy Sensodyne or are they going to buy something else? They're going to buy this one. 
And are they going to look at all the other toothpaste and go, oh my God, these are the most horrible, stupid toothpaste. They should take them all off the market. They're all crap. Are they going to say that about all these others? Hello. Right? Now, let's say there's somebody who doesn't have Sensodyne, but they come and they have, uh, they want to, they're one of these people, you know how some of them are, right? I got to have certified organic. Everything has to be certified organic. Everything. My toothpaste, my this, my that, my clothes, all that. And so they look at this one up here, we'll just pretend that this one, Green Arrow, is the one that is certified organic. Are there people who want to buy toothpaste that is certified organic and that's the main thing they want? Yes or no? Why or in? What do you think? Is that something that you control as a person who, ha who is one of these toothpaste? Do you control this? They come with their little leaning, right? They kind of lean towards, I want certified organic. I want certified organic. And that's what they get. Are you with me? Do they buy Sensodyne? Does Sensodyne sit there and cry and go, oh no, oh, I screwed up. I must have messed up. Oh no, oh no. Right? They know they're not that one. It's like the wrong size shoe. If you have a size 10 foot, you're not going to fit in a size eight, no matter how much you try. Right? Sensodyne is not crying over this. They don't expect to get somebody with certified organic because that, that's not their edge. It's not their sp specific thing. So try this one. Can you see the pink? Can you see the pink arrow? Tell me if you see yes. You see the pink one? Just put a Y or an N so I can see that you can see it. You got it, right? Okay, so that's the one. We'll pretend this is the one for people who have yellow teeth and they want to have white teeth. So this is a toothpaste for people that have, um, that, that people that want to have a toothpaste that helps you whiten their teeth. That's its thing. So people who have yellow teeth and they're looking for a toothpaste that helps with white, get, getting your teeth looking whiter, they buy this one. People with sensitive gums, what do they buy? Which one? You guys remember? Do they buy the certified organic or do they buy the Sensodyne? Right? They buy the Sensodyne. And people who come in here looking for um, certified organic, what do they buy? Do they buy Sensodyne or do they buy the one for white teeth? And then you have people with no teeth at all who have some kind of a spray or a liquid that you, you know, that you do. Yeah, the green arrow might be, I'm just pretending, that's going to be for people who have yellow teeth <laughs> and they want white teeth, right? And the green arrow is certified organic toothpaste. The Sensodyne is Sensodyne toothpaste. So I'm here to tell you that each of these companies, and there are dozens more, I could pick out all of them and tell you there's an edge. Each one has an edge, including the plain Jane ones. There are some here that are like um, Gleam and Colgate. Uh, you know, I don't, I haven't seen a toothpaste like that in so long, but never those old standard brands. And they're just regular. And there are people who say, I don't want any of this fancy stuff. Get that away from me. It's overpriced crap. I just want Gleam or Colgate or whatever is plain. Oh, and then there are toothpastes that say extra fluoride. Oh. And there are other toothpastes that say no fluoride. Okay, so are you saying, and all of these companies, all of them are multi-million dollar companies in most cases. Do you see this? There's room for all these different kinds of toothpaste, depending on who the person who's looking for a fix to a problem. Do you see this? There's room for every single person. So if somebody says, oh, the Sensodyne is too expensive, are they going to sit there and cry, Sensodyne? Because they're going to, there's a room for the, the gleam and the regular toothpaste. Remember that? Okay, just make sure you guys are all there. Have I got it? Have you got this? Say yes, if you have it, and then I'll show you what we're going to do in the challenge. All right, good. So this is kind of an eye opener for some people because it's like, well, right? And if you step back and think about yourself as a consumer, you'll see how you want to position what you market, your products and your business so that you have these options in your mind and you can think clearly. Like one of the first businesses I built to the top, I think we were like 30 or 40,000 a month in like 90 days after we learned how to recruit. Um, what I did is a postcard campaign, which I would probably do today, actually. And the, the name on, and we sent it to all the network marketers, this is like 28 years ago.
and like I said, I'm confident we could do the same thing today, actually. <laughs> Probably use the same headline. And it says, how to build a giant heap, H-E-A-P, with or without your friends, family, or neighbors. That's what it was. How to build a giant organization with or without your friends, family, or neighbors. Exactly what I told you at the beginning. So who responded? Mostly people that were already had had an MLM or network marketing experience and they wanted, now they had learned, I want to do this and build a giant organization with or without those people, friends, family, or neighbors. And those are the people we got. We had people calling dozens per day and we signed, signed up dozens of people per week because that was the campaign we chose. Of all these toothpaste types or all these approaches to how to build a business and looking for the business team members, that's the approach we took, right? You see how that works? And you can all choose your own depending on, and that's what we're going to show you here. All right. So let me talk to you about the challenge because you can get into it if you want to um, for that time period that we've got. The challenge is not very expensive. Um, so you'd be happy to hear that. However, I want to give you something special for people who get themselves into it uh, today. And this week's special uh, has been so special. People like it so much, we just decided to extend it. So what's today? Thursday. Okay. Thursday. All right. Yeah, this is a good way for you to see. I make my own slides. I like, I really like making slides. I'm not as good at it as I wish I were, but all right. If you so far are with me, and if this sounds like this is the way you want to market, then you're going to enjoy this. We have a sales letter that I want to give you that my uh, affiliates paid $3,750 for. And this was like four or five years ago, which was quite a lot of money. Today, if you want to get a sales letter from Frank Kern or Joe Vitale or anybody, nobody will write you a sales letter for less than 20 grand. And if you get one for a thousand or 1500 bucks, the chances are the people are not very good and they won't get you results. You get what you pay for. Truly you do. So this letter was $3,750 and they hired this guy to, to write this letter, which I'm going to give you uh, free for nothing here when you sign up for this challenge. Um, and the letter advertised a program to help you do meetings on your own, run your own events at home, at, at any venue you want. This is something that I like doing. Now it's on Zoom, but we could still do that. The program was $297. Today it's available still. Uh, and they sold 287 of those in about 10 days. And they took in $85,239. That's what they did. Okay. 85 grand for this letter. That's what happened. And the letter is language that you can use for email, for texting, for Facebook, for Instagram, any of that stuff. During the analysis, we sell this on our website for $200 and we're going to give it to you um, as a bonus here, as a freebie. In case you wonder, is a bonus free? The answer is yes. Number, what is it today? May 6th. Yep. And what the analysis shows you, look here. If I were to say to you, just, just listen, have you always wanted to build your network marketing business without the need to be a super slick salesperson or a go-go recruiter? How many of you would say yes right now? Let me see in the chat. Why don't you stand up a minute and type in yes or no. How do you answer this question? Have you always wanted to build your network marketing business without the need to be a super slick salesperson or a go-go recruiter? Who would say, yes, that's me, right? Okay, but some of you are gonna say, yeah, that was, that was you, right? Some of you not. But those people who say, yes, this is a way to approach certain people who, you know, for like, for example, say you're recruiting and you wanna to say to people, well, particularly people that have done network marketing companies before and they're kind of burned out, those are great prospects for this, see? Because they're all experienced, but they don't really wanna be a super slick salesperson, right? And so you ask, so the analysis here is what we did to show you how to put this into your own copy for whatever it is that you're marketing. And this comes with the program. Okay. So this is going to be a freebie. I'm just giving you this on the house. When somebody signs up, this will be in your members area within 24 hours. That sound good. You want to learn how to do that. Okay. So here's what you do. Let me show you how to, what the challenge is. So those of you who want to pop in here, you can. I can see a lot of you guys are here and you're already in. That's so sweet. 
Uh, I love when, when you come. It's uh, like going to the concert the same <laughs> five times. That's what I do too. Go to endofrejection.com and Amy will type that in there for you. She's like so ahead of me. All right, good, good, good. And when you get there, please click on this and make sure that you see this page. Okay, so type in or click on the link in there. Do you all see that? The endofrejection.com, would you please just click on it and tell me that it opens. Say why if it opens for you. Then I'll show you what we're gonna do here with that. Okay. Christine, does that open for you? Bill, does that open for you? Good. Let me see, let me see the rest of you guys. Crystal? Hey, Lori, how are you doing, girl? Okay. Just click on it. It won't bite you. I just want to make sure that it's working. All right, so this is what you're going to get. So this page, this information here is too expensive. How to become an advisor instead of a seller. How to be a finisher, not just a starter. This is all the stuff we just talked about, right? So it's right there. At the bottom of that page, you see that orange button there? At the very bottom, do you see the orange button? Click on that and it will take you to kind of an ugly page, which is this. I'll wait for you to get there. Let me know when you guys are there. Just say, yes, you're there. Why, why, why? Yep, that's the page. Okay, and in case some of you are having trouble with your phone or because that sometimes happens, look in the chat and you'll see Amy typed in this long link, Thrive Cart, blah, blah, blah. Just click on that. It's the same, goes to the same place. Do you all see this page here? The kind of ugly end of rejection page? Yes, I got a lot of yeses. Okay. All right. So the challenge for the five days to learn these things is $47. And everybody says, why do you make it so cheap? And it's like, because I figure this, if you learn to do this, there will be people in our industry who know how to position themselves so that the right people come to you, that you're only putting your stuff in front of the right people. That's what I'm looking to achieve. And so that's why we're making it. I mean, really it's affordable to anybody who wants to learn how to do that. You want to learn how to do that? This is what you do. Now on this page, and when you fill this in towards the bottom, you're going to see this here. You see this special one-time offer. It's, it's like this page where the blue arrows are. You'll see the one-time offer. Let me tell you what that is so you can decide. Well, we are going to, everybody who gets into the challenge will get, they're going to be live Zooms, just like what you see right here is what we're doing <laughs> for sure, um, and teach you the stuff. And then we're going to strip out the audio and we're going to have every session beautifully transcribed so you can read it. And the reason we're doing that is because when all the masterminds I've been in and I'm in masterminds all the time, I always order just the audio because I want to hear it when I'm running or walking around, just hear it, not have to see anything. And I love to read. So I have everything transcribed and I print it out and I read it all. That's what I do. You don't have to print it out, but I like reading. So if you want that option, click that little button there on your phone right there and it will add something to you. Yep, I will share that right at the end. It's gonna be a members area. You should have uh, received an email that says here is your challenge information and it takes you to a members area that will show you uh, if you signed up this week. Yeah, you got it already. Okay, you guys are going too fast for me. Um, let's see here. Because I don't have my uh, phone here set up. Let me just look and make sure that I've got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Karen. Yeah, you're good. So you, you could, have, this is the option here for that. If you want to click on that. All right. Everybody with me so far? Cause now I'm going to show you a little surprise. Everybody here so far. Let me say yes. Crystal, all you guys. All right. How many people here think, that it would be a really good idea for people in your organization and people in the industry in general to learn how to market without all this rejection, which you know is not necessary from the toothpaste, right? Right, because we all are either a Sensodyne, we're one of these. No one is gonna buy just Sensodyne. 
Nobody is going to buy just the teeth whitener. We all have something and we have something special. And those special people are going to make a beeline for us. That is the key. That's what we want. So you have to learn how to put on your Sensodyne dress or shirt or wrapper. Okay. So what we want to do is we set up an ambassador program. And if you want to be an ambassador, which will let you promote the program to, to somebody that you think will really benefit from it, the challenge, right? Here's what the deal is. We, they pay out 20 bucks. So every person that you bring to the program who actually comes in for the main program there, the one for just the $47, they'll pay you $20, usually within three or four minutes. And the reason is we have you set up on PayPal. So if you decide to become an ambassador, how many of you want to become an ambassador? Who, who are my ambassadors here? Who wants to be that? Say me. Yeah, Lauren, I think you're already in, right? You guys, a lot of you guys are in already. Oh, let me look and see. Yep. So to become an ambassador, what you need to do is get yourself signed up for the program here first. Sign yourself up either for the main option or the extra one where you also get the separate audio stripped out alone and the transcriptions where you can read everything. Do that first. Uh, and then when you have it, if you haven't done it already, when you're in there, we reach your PayPal address so we can set you up as an ambassador. And so that when you bring people in, you can immediately make a quick 20 bucks. If you want to help us spread the word about this. Okay. Now the deal on this special here for this one that we have here, wait, the freebie, the anatomy of a $3,750 sales letter that you're going to get on the house. Um, the orders have to be done before the end of the day, but the sooner you get them in, the sooner you're going to get access to this stuff. So you can start monitoring it and then get yourself in here. So who are my ambassadors? Let me see, Lauren, I got you. Yep. Yep. Who, so many of you are in the program already. So how many people are not in the program yet are not part of the challenge yet? So you can't be an ambassador yet, but you will be as soon as you get yourself in there. Okay, let me see if I can get the. Okay. All right. Let me look and see. So, oh, good. Yeah, a bunch of you guys are coming in. That's wonderful to see that. Yeah, this is going to build your, you're going to be so happy because I know you. And this is like so good. Do you want to be an ambassador also? So Samson, get yourself in there. Oh, Jean, well, you're so active and so, you know, bright. It's like, oh my gosh, she's going to be a good one. Maybe she's already a student. Well, there you are. Now's your chance to get into a challenge, which really is whole fixated on the end of rejection. On the end of rejection. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can do that. Oh, good. Um, okay. The end of rejection challenge. Okay, good. Um, Eileen, I have got you. And Lori, I have got you. Let me just... Um, so Eileen, thanks for coming in and thanks all of you because we have now too many to count. But let me tell you something. When you go to that page, uh, you're going to click and you'll see the 47 and the 47, right? You can choose. When you finish, you'll see a little, it's called an OTO, one, no wait, one time offer. Okay. And what that is, if you take a moment, you can do it or not. It's a, just an offer. You can choose or not. But what it does is if you are interested in learning how to recruit in this way, because this has been a lot been focused on how to build a customer base. And the reason is if you have a hundred customers and you say, Hey, Aunt Lulu, listen, I got a hundred customers or so 150. And I know the course is not for you, but if I tell you who I'm looking for, uh, would you tell me if there's anybody who comes to mind? That's one of the scriptings that we use and people go, yeah, I, I want to know. And suddenly everybody's paying attention because you're not hitting them up with the greatest thing since God, the greatest thing since sliced bread, you're going to make all this money. And you, you sound like borderline, not wholly there because 
everybody knows there's a risk to business. That's why so few people are, have a business of their own, even network marketing and affiliate marketing. It's kind of your own business because you have to market it and make, bring people in, but you don't make your own product, right? Somebody else is somebody else's product, but that's hard to do. Why do you think most people quit in network marketing? They're all in there because two or three people, the janitor, the garbage man, somebody who used to clean house, somebody who used to be an alcoholic are making 10 grand a week now. And they tell you how, normal they are and what losers they were. And if they can do it, you can do it. But they don't tell you that there were 10, 15, 20 years of not making it work. You know, it takes a while. Steve Jobs, he's considered probably one of the brightest people that ever lived, right? One of, one of them. And he, with his Apple computer, they did pretty well with Apple computer, but until they started with the phone, they were 1% of the market. 1%, that's almost nothing. Then they came out with the phone and they blew past Microsoft. So that was 10 years. So don't think that it's gonna happen right away. That's what they like to tell you. It's like the lottery. Yeah, I guess if you win the lottery, it's right away. But if, if you don't, you know, you know what the odds are. So we wanna help you build yourself into somebody that commands respect, commands recognition, and knows exactly who you're looking for and nobody else. The line forms on the right, right here. That's what we're doing here. If you're up for that, that's what you wanna do. Okay, anyone else have any issues or questions about what we wanna do now, since we have a bunch of you, what we wanna do is get your, um, if you want to be an ambassador, please put your Facebook, I mean your uh, PayPal email in here. And Bill, again, welcome to have you. Okay, Samson, we don't see your order in here, buddy. So if you want to be an ambassador, order the program so you can be one. We have a special Facebook group, by the way, for ambassadors to show you how to market this in exactly the way we're doing for you. Okay. Is anyone else trying to get in and having trouble with their order? I think we got most of you guys are doing okay. And Maritza, we will... Um, Check your email, Maritza. You should have an email from help at kimclaveracademy.com. And it should be there. Otherwise, maybe Amy, if you can send Akik her name and see if she can um, get the login sent to her again, that would be good. Crystal, are you able to get yourself in? Do you want to be an ambassador with this? Is this something that is up your alley? You are in, Samson. Okay, let me look for you, honey. We got you. Do you want to be an ambassador? Oh, good. Good, good. Okay, Crystal, we're still looking for you. You're, you're in there looking now. Yeah, you, you'll find it. It'll be there, Maritza. We have no reason not to give it to you. We love to give you this stuff because once you see the things that you can do with language, when you think about being, having some perspective, Remember, we want to make sales and market, but look what happened here. I sent out an email and said, if you are sick of rejection, I'll show you a way to do it, right? So who came? Did everybody come? No. But a bunch of you said, hey, I, I want to hear. What is that? It's called calling out a problem. You want to get rid of that problem? Because I can show you how to do it without going for no, because who wants to do that, right? And then you came. And some of you are here now. And some of you want to be ambassadors, so you're going to get the program because you want to learn this. Is everybody saying yes? No. But do I see any no's? No. The only thing I see is yeses. Isn't that the way you want to run your business? Exactly what we're doing right here. You tell me why you're in. Samson, I see you. I'm delighted to have you. What is the, um, where are you from? What is your last name origin? It's very interesting. Are you, are you, where are you from? Harriet, I got you. Where do I enter my email? Uh, Africa. So where are you living here in the States? Yep. Joseph, uh, as a coach, instead of network marketing, the framework is pretty much the same. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I'm not building a network marketing company right now. 
I've got a coaching company. It's exactly the same. Who do you help with what, Joseph? For those of you that um, he just hit on the panelists, but he says, as a coach, instead of network marketing, the framework is pretty much the same. It is. Because what do people do who are a network marketer? You're supposed to be a marketer. Nobody markets. They rush to sell right away. Hey, do me a favor. Buy this, would you? Oh, my gosh. No. That's not, that's called, you know, pressuring people. You don't want to do that. And that's what kind of people teach. They forget all about the marketing, which is finding out who's even got the problem and then is looking at your approach, right? Hey, Kim, where is the business email for PayPal? I don't know. Amy, would you put that in there? She read, she read your mind, Mr. Dempsey. Nigerian, wow. Yeah, they can send you one. How, when did you get in, Joseph? When did you come here? How long have you been here for this show right now? This is for Joseph. Five minutes? <laughs> you really got here late, right? Yep. Yes, we will have a replay. In fact, there is a replay. Uh, Joseph, put your email in there. You said you've got it set to panelists. We're the only ones who will see it. And then we'll send it to you. Remember, though, the deal on this ends tonight. So you have to have your order in before the day is over. Otherwise, this bonus doesn't come. So I'm just warning you right now. It's not like a big investment, but it's nonetheless. What do you market, Joseph? What do you do for people? What do you help them achieve with your coaching program? I think people would like to know what you do. Okay. Love relationship, life transformation. So your re relationship coach, that's kind of your thing. That is such a marvelous market. Oh my gosh, such a good market. You know, uh, Amy, maybe what you could do is send him the link for not the other day, but two days before that, send that uh, Wistia link to, to uh, Joseph so that he can have a chance to get in before the end of the day. Yeah, I'll send and it if, to you right now here, Joseph. Yeah, make sure that you get it. Um, while I send you a replay, yes, I'll send you a replay. Well, the only thing you cannot find is the bonus letter, okay. Well, I appreciate you as well. I'm glad you could come. I'm glad you could come. So Maritza, we will figure out how to get that into your members area. Maritza, would you just put your email there for the panelist under the panelist? And then Amy, if you can um, uh, slack that over to A, he can add that to her email. I mean, to her member area. If, have her add the $3,750 program to Maritza's area. Can you do that, Amy? Can you just confirm so we don't, you've got it? A 37.50 to Maritza, sure. Yeah, let, let A know. Sure. You know, the programmer that she needs to have, Maritza, you know, you've got her first and last name there on the chat, that she needs to have that added to her member area for the challenge, because she signed up for the challenge, but she doesn't see her $3,750 newsletter program. And if he would just add that to her, you know, he j just can tag her, you know how that goes. But I want him to do it. I need you with me right here. Okay, so I don't see, um, when did you order, Crystal? Let me look, see if I can find it. And I don't see you here. Uh, I don't see you yet. It doesn't mean you didn't do it. It just means I can't find you. Okay. I don't see you yet. Okay, so Crystal, you did your order come through? Did you get a receipt? Yeah, no, I don't see you. Um, 
like I said, it doesn't mean it didn't happen, it just hasn't shown up yet. Let me look. No, I don't see you yet. So try again. You might have to do it again. Yeah, if it didn't go through, go ahead and do it again. And if, if it, by any chance there's a duplicate, you know, they're standing by, so they'll pop you back any extra money in case it is. Uh, oh, I see. You're on the page with the video. I don't want to miss the video by clicking through. Okay, why don't you just take a minute? It's like a two-minute video. Go ahead and watch it. We're going to stay here a few minutes because people always have questions. Watch the video. And then if you want to have that art of recruiting bonus, I mean, that kind of big discount, you, Crystal, take your time. We're right here for a few minutes. This happens every time we do this. And we want you to have a chance to see that because if you're going to end up recruiting, that program is going to help, especially at that price. I'm so excited to have you guys here. So you take your time. Relax. We're not going anywhere. Okay, let's see. Any other issues? So for the folks that are listening to this, how does this sound to you, this whole idea that you can position yourself uh, so that the right that you become one of the toothpaste where people make a beeline for the one that you are. How many people here believe that? That this is something that you really want. And that could be done, that you could do. I want to just see. Laura, yeah, you are so rocking. And Lori, yep. Christine, yep, yep. 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 That's a very different approach than talk to everyone because everybody wants health and wealth. You know, if you were to stand in front of this toothpaste image right here, this aisle, and all these toothpaste could talk, just say a thousand voices, and they're all talking to you saying, everybody needs clean teeth and white teeth and yada yada. So buy me, buy me, buy me. Is that who you want to be? <laughs> or do you want to be like Apple and say, we are 1000 songs in your pocket, right? And it's going to cost you five times more than the product that makes you carry big boom boxes. Which would you rather have? Do you want to have the cheaper one? Sure. For a hundred bucks? Or do you want a thousand songs in your pocket for $500? Which one do you want? This is how you position yourself. It's not by price alone, but value. Do y'all see that? You see how that works? Yeah, I, you know, but the reason the industry doesn't do it is because on the radio show today that I was on, that, like I said, they have 300 different stations and people said, why doesn't everybody teach Kim's way? And it's like, because it makes it sound like it might be hard. And if you are told, well, just give me your hundred bucks and sign up for 500 bucks or a thousand bucks, whatever, to get into the business, couple thousand, right? that all you have to do is talk to people. If you don't have experience, you're going to believe that. You see? And you do want to talk to people, but not in the same way. Think of the toothpaste. I got something for people who yada yada. In fact, during the challenge, I'm going to show you how we do war market phone calling. And for those of you that have people hang up on you, when you do these calls, nobody's hang, hang up on you at all. Nobody. Same approach. Does that make sense? Okay, let me see if Crystal, if you got yourself in here yet, so don't worry. You just take your time. And because the program, you could only get it. You're only going to be able to get it, Crystal, at this price ever on this particular page. That's why they call them one-time offers. How many of you would like to learn how to do a little show like this Get a bunch of people who said, I want to know about that problem. I want to know how to solve it the way you said, and make a bunch of sales like we're doing right here. Who would like to learn how to do that? Because after the challenge, we're going to have some programs, and one of them is going to be teaching people how to do this, groups at once, 
never mind these onesies and twosies, you're going to die and be 105 years old and you still won't have anything, right? At 97, we want to be hitting that tennis ball. Lauren, do you agree with me? I know you do. And Gary, I know you do. I mean, this is what we want to be doing. Why in the world do you want to crush yourself by talking to everybody in the world, most of whom don't even use toothpaste, some of them? Is that what you want, really? Yeah. Totally. So this is what we're going to teach you how to do. Okay. I think we have everything. Okay, Crystal, I think you are set. Yeah, you're in good shape. Oh, good, good. Yeah, you're good. This is good. You want to? Okay, so do you want to be? You got it. Maritza, you're good. We have got the best people helping us in the world. Now, Maritza, you know, take your time listening and reading. Because I know you're not from the USA, and some of my talking is a little bit, is a little bit fast. That's why we had everything transcribed. Yeah, you received the invoice. Yeah, that's good. Now you wait a few minutes, Crystal. Wait a few minutes because you know the internet takes a few minutes. What's going to happen is in five, within five or ten minutes, you're going to get a thing that says your membership, your login, and then you're going to go into the challenge. Now remember, there's nothing much in that challenge membership area yet because we haven't had the challenge. We're going to put the recordings, the videos in there, right? And for those of you that bought the that little bump where you have the transcriptions, you're going to get the transcriptions too. But your bonus will be in there. If it isn't in there today, it'll, I mean, right now, it'll be in there today because we put them in by hand. These are special. This particular $3,750 newsletter is one of my favorite things in the whole world that I've ever read or seen or analyzed or taught from. You know, when I first read the, 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 the sales letter, I cried. It was like five years ago. It's just one of my friends said, why, why are you crying? I said, well, you know, I'm not like boo-hoo-hoo, but just he's talking about my work. And I was just stunned that somebody would say those words about what I had done. I had just didn't even think of it. And then they make just in 10 days, all these sales. And now I, why was that such a beautiful letter? I could have never written that letter. I'm telling you, I'm not that good. Not for my stuff. And so I thought, this is the most beautiful. The letter made me cry, <laughs> right? And I'm not a customer even. But he wrote about me. That's what that letter is about, that particular program that we have. And so I thought, I am going to analyze the letter line by line by line by line because they made so much money using it with their list. So I can teach my people how to do that. So it's a labor of love. That's why the thing is only 200 bucks in our in our in our um, Kim Claver Academy, you know, the resource site, <laughs> because that's what I wanted to show people how to do that. Okay. I think we're set. We have most of you guys are in here that are going to be in here. So anybody else who's trying to get themselves in here? Okay. So yeah, Lori, we're going to add, they're going to be added here in just a few minutes. I will send the list over. Amy, I'll send you the list in five minutes as soon as we're done. And then um, everybody will be added. You get that special bonus added. In the meantime, Amy, do you need anybody? Can I sign up directly from here? Miguel, you better hustle, senor. Miguel Triana. Miguelito, so go here. Go to this page. You see this? Amy, can you put that link back in here, the ugly, uh, ugly Thrive Cart link? You are so fast. I'm so glad you're here. I don't know what I would do without you. Okay, Miguel, check, click on that link so that you um, can get yourself filled in here. And have you been here since the beginning? Do you know what the options are, Miguel? Tell me yes or no. Just say Y N. And then, do you want to be a um, Miguel? Do you want to be a, a, an ambassador with us? Are you going to be one of our ambassadors? Okay, Miguel, fill out your form and then we'll wait for you. And then Amy, if there's anything you need from me, you know, if you want, you can ask people to put their PayPal email in there if you want so that we don't have to get them separately. 
but you tell me you're in charge. Yeah, that would be great. If you guys want to be ambassadors, we will need your PayPal uh, email. So um, preferably a business PayPal email account and um, just give us the address there and we'll get your ambassador link set up within the next, I don't know, next day or two. So that would be great. Yeah. It'll be about a day or so to get those accounts set up. So don't, you know, email every five minutes and say, where's the account? It takes a few minutes. It's all done by hand because we're choosing our ambassadors. We don't want anybody being an ambassador that doesn't believe that spreading the word about this will help people in their own business. Yeah. And help themselves. That's the point of being an ambassador. You know, it's really a goodwill ambassador, but we want to pop you 20 bucks. Cause what if you put in five people, quick hundred bucks, right? Lunch, cappuccino, so maybe some wine if you like wine. Okay. So, so Crystal, Amy, I think your, your question you sent her message, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Crystal, the only thing we need for you to be an ambassador is just your, your, your PayPal email. So if you want to get that to me, then we will get you set up. Okay. And Miguel, we don't have you yet, but we probably will have you at some point here, but you're not showing up yet. Yeah. Go sign up with PayPal. All of you that don't have PayPal, and there was a time years ago when I thought PayPal has got to be a fraud, right? But that was when it first came out and then eBay bought them and, you know, people use PayPal to, to um, buy stuff on eBay. That's the reason it was created. eBay didn't have any way for people to buy stuff and the banks wouldn't work with eBay because at that time online was new and different. And so eBay said, well, what are we going to do? And Elon Musk and Peter Thiel and who's the other boy? Um, Elon, Peter, there's one other guy. They're all in their mid twenties created what is now called PayPal. And the banks have been forever kicking themselves after because they were so closed minded. You know, change comes slowly and it takes an open mind and a youthful energy to say, you know what, we're going to figure out how to do this. Like what we're doing right here. This is requires youthful energy. It doesn't matter if you're 80 or 20. It's a new way of seeing what needs to be done so you can make your mark in the world. All right, let's see. So Miguel, I don't see um, your yet, but I'll wait for a second. Okay. Also um, my, okay, do we have you? Yeah, you all should have a business PayPal account. If you think you're in business and you don't have a way to take in money, you're not in business. Yes, I know your company pays you when you bring in reps and do all of that and you get either a check or direct deposit. I get that. But you need to be able to take money from other people. What if you come up with five sleeping habits that, you know, double the beauty and radiance and, I don't know, plumpiness, if you want, of your lips or your skin or your hair? That is something that you can sell yourself to people who want it. Like some of you here have PayPal. You want to pay me through PayPal. Great. Pay through PayPal. So set yourself up so you are independent completely and that you can take money from anyone who wants to give it to you. Does that make sense? Say yes. Let me see some whys in there. Yes, yes, yes. Because this is how people can pay you. If you want to be an advisor, there might be other help you can give someone, isn't there? Don't you all know a few things about skin or hair or making money? that you could put together in a little package and charge for? Totally, I know you do. I know you do. And even if somebody says, okay, it's $97 for this little extra, you could market to people who aren't even in your network marketing business yet. People who wanna know five foods that are really horrible for your skin. Or here's a tip on how, you know, we had somebody who, um, uh, we have people that are really want to invest in their skin you know, and really, um, they love investing in themselves. That's who they are. Right. And so one of them was her skin. And so she had been to the golden door and all these great places, these great spas. And one of the things they do there is they have a, an eye treatment. And I, I have to tell you, I can't remember now what it is, but it's something where it's like a 15 second. It's you tie one on the night before you look like crap the next morning, your eyes are baggy. You look old and puffy and you know, you don't want to go to work just looking like that. Right. 
So they teach you this one minute or 45 second thing where you put, I think it's either cucumbers or, but they're slices of either, you know, some vegetable, I can't remember what it is, on your eye. That's it. And you just put your head back and you wait. And I'm here to tell you, when you peel those off, you look like you're 21 years old, right? So you had an account, my email, log in. Okay, good. Well, when you log in there, and you go to your account, it'll be, I think it's called maxout.com courses. The, uh, this one will be there. It just won't have anything in it except the bonus because we haven't run the challenge. We're just gonna start May 17th. Ready? Yeah, is that good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, so Miguel, I'm gonna look to see if you're there and then otherwise I'm gonna pop off. We don't see you there. So I don't know if you are still with us or what your story is, but we're good. You have till the end of the day. I got you, Lori. Okay, good. Okay, are we good to go? Yep, you'll be hearing about the ambassador link. Does anyone want to be an ambassador with us that has not put their PayPal email? If you haven't done it yet, don't worry, get your account set up and we will have a way for um, Amy to get in touch with you. So we can do that. It might be probably through email because a lot of us aren't friends on Facebook yet. So we can't do anything. That's probably what you'll do, right, Amy? Email? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to put the help desk email in here right now. Oh, totally. Yeah, do that. And when if you get an email from help at kimclaveracademy.com and the subject is, you know, ambassador for end of rejection, open that up because that will be the subject, ambassador for end of rejection challenge. And then it'll give you the information that you need. And that way, when you see it going back and forth, the thread, you'll know what it is. Okay. All right. Okay. We're good to go. I'm thrilled to have you. And I'll leave the chat open for just like one more minute in case there's somebody who has a question. And um, then we'll, we'll call it a day. Has this been helpful for folks? What, what do you market, uh, Crystal? Miguel, are you in? Okay. Let's see if we can find you, honey. Not yet, but soon. Okay, you might, the, the little video might come on the recruiting. So if that's playing, it'll, it'll wait a second to run your order through. So just watch the video and decide if you want that or not. No problem, and it'll come. Is there a replay? I got delayed. Okay, Kim E, that is gonna cost you some bonbons. Yeah, I'm teasing. Yeah, so Miguel, look at the video. It's a two-minute video on the on the art of recruiting, which is something that you can choose to accept or not accept. Just wait for it to finish. And then you see, because you get, you know, there's a little deal on it, of course. We like to give you specials. Once you start with us, we like to really handle you with kid gloves and show you everything. It's what they told us at Harvard. It's really hard to get in. But once you get here, you get the kid glove treatment. And that's kind of how we are. Same thing with you. Question is, this is a complete program. Well, it takes you a certain distance, but it's like going to medical school. You know, the first few months, you're not going to be an MD, right? Because you got to practice and get good. Does that make sense? Yeah, you don't want to think that $47 or five days, an hour a day is going to change your whole life. It's going to show you what you need to do. And then you're going to do it and get good at it, like a tennis player, right? They have to go on the court now and play other people and go back and forth and back and forth and practice until they get really, really, really good. It might be a few years, but you'll know exactly what to do and what not to do. Is that the next option in the video? Oh, yeah, that's what that is. It's the main thing on how to do recruiting. Yes, yes. You don't need to have much more than that, in my opinion. That's, that's what we did. And if you go further with us and some of these programs here, and we will show you how to do it online as well. Yeah, no, the, 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 uh, the next episode, it's art of recruiting. It's how to talk to people, how to present your position so that they are more likely to say yes. Again, it's like this right here, but for recruiting. You make it of a science, um, well, 
I wouldn't say that marketing and sales is, it's a combination of art and science because what you're doing is you want to influence people to be part of what you're doing. That's what you want to do. And so the best way to influence somebody is to find people that are kind of leaning in that direction anyway. It's kind of like Jesus, right? He went around looking for people to help him and follow him. And he said to the guys fishing, follow me. That was it. That's what he did, right? But he only had 12, one of whom was a major pukey, right? And a kind of a turncoat. So the key is you want to influence people and put yourself out there in such a way that those who are inclined to follow you and the mission of making people's lives better by having a business of their own, that mission is what you want them to be involved in. That way they'll go with you anywhere. If you take this network marketing company or you change and you become an affiliate marketer, or if you change and market something of your own, it's the, you want to influence people who share the, the idea of doing something of their own and having income of their own. Does that make sense? It's not just following, you know, Miguel by himself. It's very important that you know that what you're getting people to follow is not the specific product. That's what they're going to buy now because they want the outcome, right? You buy a car because you want to go to, from LA to New York, not just the car to sit in your garage. So you're selling the trip to New York. And the thing that you're doing is taking a car, a Range Rover, you know, Ferrari, whatever you're doing, that's your product. But the mission that you're trying to, to become an influencer is be that person who calls, calling all people who want to have something of their own. Why? Because they want to be independent. They don't want to ask the wife. They don't want to ask the husband. They don't want to wait for the government check. No. Those are the people. That's what you're going to do. Do I, are you, do I have software, honey? We have built... A, a qualification system uh, that is what we have used. Um, the last three companies we built to the top in 90 days using a qualification software. And you'll hear about it in the challenge because we'll show you what that is. But yeah, we have that. Go to my YouTube channel. Um, I have a YouTube channel and there are options there. And I'll also send out emails from time to time. And there's a link there. Yes, we have software that qualifies people that does most of this stuff. Um, on automation. Put the link of YouTube. Okay. Now, why didn't I think of that? Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. One moment, please. Miguelito, I like you too, buddy. Here, let me get that link here. Uh, Where are you based? Oh. Oh my God, Crystal, that's exactly what the software does. It's a, it's a, it's a very sophisticated set of questions and value statements that we work up with you. And you give it to people and they take it. And they come out and they either, you, they're, they're not ready yet and you build a list with that or they sign up and book a calendar appointment with you so you can talk to them. And then we show you how to conduct an interview. Does that sound like something you want to learn how to do? Yeah, it's totally so cool. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. Uh, the link that, did somebody put the, the YouTube link up there? Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I put it in there. Oh, I love you, good. Um, yeah, you see, you guys see that link, by the way, uh, the, the, um, the Facebook groups, the yes test hop in there. <clears throat> it's a free group and it's for people who want to learn this, this particular method, right? That's what we're looking for. And so pop in there, but answer the questions. There's a security guard at the door, you know, a virtual one. So just answer those questions. I think there are three of them, but nothing's about your weight or your sex life or anything dumb like that. And then you'll be in that group. And then we show you cool things that are going on in there before the challenge, yeah. Okay, let me see if we got you figured out now. Uh, we let it go. Okay, we don't see you yet. So whatever you're doing hasn't come through yet. 
yeah, the software qualifies everyone that you're going to talk to and give it to. Because when they say, oh, I'm kind of interested. So, okay, great. I got some questions for you. Ready? And then you give them that link and the questions are right there. And they're all based on this. What have you got? What is the special thing? So we know whether or not they want to buy it or help promote it. Does that make sense? The challenge, 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern every day for 45 minutes. And then you have the day to do the challenge and the next day we come back. Can I get a head start with the challenge? Uh, can you get a head start with the challenge? Let's see. Hmm. Well, what you could do, um, yeah, they're a replace. Yeah, yeah, they're a replace. What you could do to get a head start is you need to work up the basics. Before, we had somebody who said you need to know what you do for people, right? And what your specific little angle is, right? Like we had Sensodyne, remember that? Say yes, just make sure you have that. Okay, because once you understand that, the probably the easiest way to get started without spending a lot of money and spinning your wheels is to get the orange book. Amy, can you put the link in there for the Kim book? It's gonna set you back five bucks, $5.55. I would start the orange book and create your first date script between now and the time we start the challenge. That's what I would do. So for anybody who wants to learn how to start, the, step, the first step is always going to be creating your first date script, which is kind of like your dress, you know, your Sensodyne shirt. Who is this for? People with sensitive gums. And your first date script is going to be one based on usually your product or service that has your before and after because you know, before I used Sensodyne, before I used this product, I had really sensitive gums and I figured I'm gonna have to get a whole gum replacement or teeth replacement or dentures or whatever. And then I learned about this, right? This particular product and lo and behold, it's been four or five months and now my gums are all well again. So you take the problem, the before and after for the problem that your problem or service solved for you. So if you want to do that and get started early, then go to the orange book, because it's the least expensive way to get started and it's a great way to get started. See that link there? That's what I would do. And I think that Miguel, that um, maybe you could just forward your receipt because whatever you got, it didn't come through here yet. And if you're just in New York, it shouldn't take that long. You know, cause nothing's coming through. So I don't know um, what it is that you got in, the, in your email, but just forward it to help at kimclaveracademy.com and we'll see what the, what's going on. Okay. All right, I think we're set to go. Are we good? Amy, have you got everything you need from everybody? Yeah, I do. I, I have a couple of people here that want to be ambassadors. So just remember if you do want to be an ambassador, so far I have Samson and Crystal. Mm -hmm. If you want to be an ambassador, let us know what your PayPal email address is, and we'll do that. Um, you can right. also email that to the help desk. Mm -hmm. Right. And a couple of folks are getting their PayPal business set up, their yep. account set up, so they're going to be able to do that. Perfect. All right, you guys. We will do another one of these on Saturday. If you're an ambassador, you should be set up by then. And if you want to bring folks and they happen to come in, guess what? A quick 20 bucks, buy you a nice cup of coffee and a croissant, and I don't know, maybe something else to go with it, right? Uh, what time Saturday? Um, 7 Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. So this is the time to bring your folks because the last week of the challenge, we are going to have dozens and dozens of people piling in because the, you know, when the end comes, everybody comes at the last minute. So this is what you bring people early so that they can get themselves a seat. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, Miguel, you might have to order again or send that receipt over because we don't see anything from you at all, just so you know, at our end. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you very much. And I think we're good to go. We'll see you maybe on Saturday, some of you, right? Okay. Talk soon. Thanks. We good, right, Amy? We shut it down now? Yeah, I think we're good. Thank you so much. You got the book too. They told me my order was not complete. Yes. You know what has to happen with PayPal is you get two places to approve. So go ahead and scroll down, Miguel, and they'll say it's not complete, right? Because PayPal has two places for you to say yes. You'll order and it'll say confirm your order, yes. And then there's one more button. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and it'll say submit. So your order hasn't gone through yet. That's why. Because So just scroll down to the bottom. Don't freak. Go to the bottom. And hit submit. And if you're on your phone, it'll be all the way at the bottom. So you have to scroll all the way. Okay. And otherwise, just look. make your screen wider if you're on your laptop. And just scroll down. You see it there, Miguel? Yeah, Facebook is weird. They make you three times say, oh, yes, yes, yes. And I know you want in, and I want you in. But you're not in yet. So scroll down and do that. You'll see. It's an extra submit. You see it now? Yeah, they are so weird. Yeah, three, two, three years ago, I didn't see that. They added that as extra security. Oh, the contest. All right. All right. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So hit submit and it'll come through. And that should be good. Okay. Okay. Do you remember in the email, we promised you one-liners. We said we're going to give three people. How was it? Three people? Or, yeah, three people. A one, the one-liners. We have an audio program. It's 27 bucks. And it gives you one-liners to answer the brother-in-law who says, are you still pushing that product? You know, those kind of things. And Lauren, uh, five. Well, then five it is. So I'm going to ask you a question. And the first person to get it right gets the first one. Are you guys ready to play? Tell me yes. Miguel, you can't play till your order goes through. Of course, I'm just teasing you. Get your order working, will you? I want to know that you've done it. But you can play anyway. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first question is going to be the um, sales letter that is coming as a gift to you. How much did my affiliates pay for the sales letter? How much did they pay? Mr. Okay, who's the first one that got it? Um. Oh, Dempsey? Gary. Gary Dempsey. Okay. 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 So you are the first one. You're going to get the one-liners audio program in your group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Gary Dempsey. So you'll make a note of these, right? Amy, we can, we can send it to A. Yes, I will. All right. Okay, so let's pick another question. Um, uh, what is the first thing we're going to cover in the first week of the challenge? How to do what? What are we going to do in the first week? The first day. Christine got it. Damn, you guys are good. Ooh. I can't wait to have you in our programs. Yeah. Put it in front of the right people. And who's first? Who got that first? Chris, that was, uh, Christine. Christine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Christine, you are up next. You are the next one for the one-liners. Okay, so let me see what else there could be. Let's see. Um, let me see. Okay, what's going to be another question? Okay. Uh, let me look. I don't want to give you the answer, so I'm going to show you a page that looks kind of crappy. Okay, um, so here's the question. 
Um, why do you want to learn how to put on a Sensodyne shirt? Why? So that what? If one sentence, we'll do it. Why do you want to learn how to do that? Okay. Everyone has a niche, don't cry. To attract the right peeps. Right, both of you guys are really close. Now, Crystal, but you got the idea. Both of you girls have the idea and you said it a different way. Everyone has a niche, don't cry. I, I got to give it to you. Yep. Christine, I mean, Crystal, you're there. Lauren, you you know you're right on it, but um, you came in second. Not much later. Those looking for it. But you get the idea. Everybody has a niche. Stop crying. When they say it's too expensive, it means you didn't position it right. If you're talking to everybody and they spend six bucks on Pond's Cream, what makes you think they're going to pay $85 a month for yours? Hello? Right? Okay, so how many is that? Three? So I got to think of another one. Okay. So, let me look and see here. What's another question I'm going to ask? Uh, all right, how much do you get as an ambassador if you refer someone who buys the challenge? What do you earn? Lauren? Honey, you hit it out of the park. <laughs> you're so fast. Okay, Miguelito, you're a little slow on the draw, but you're close. Lauren, you're the winner. Amy, don't you think? Have we got it right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Plus, she called it five, too, you know. Okay, so one more, right? Are we, is that four so far? We need one more? That's right, one more. Okay. Um, Okay, this is going to be a little more tricky. Are you guys ready for this? Don't answer right away because we want you to get it right. Well, answer as fast as you can. Okay. Um, and set your, your answers to panelists and, if you want to play, to panelists and attendees so that everybody can see who came in first. Okay, so Miguel, change your panelists and set it to panelists and attendees. Do that because otherwise nobody can see your answers and they won't necessarily think it's a fair game. Okay, so change that out. All right, so here's the last question. There are advisors and there are sellers. What is one difference between an advisor and a seller? This is tricky. Okay. What's one difference between an advisor and a seller? Oh, uh, yeah. More and more. Give me some other options. You guys are, you're getting the idea. Anybody else? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you have, you have, you guys, many of you have the idea. Now, Crystal, I think you already won one, right? Amy, didn't Crystal win one? Yes, she did. You did. So you are up there tied for first place, but we'll give it to the second person. Does that sound uh, good to you? Eileen. Yeah, Eileen Cohen. Yeah. Eileen, you're there. You're practicing. Yeah, you're going to be good. You're going to be one hot person when you start. Once you see how much inner power you have when you know what you're doing and you know who you can help and who you can't, your whole life changes. Not because of just you, but because of the way people see you. You are a powerhouse, whether you know it or not, because they see that you do what you say. That's why. See? Yeah. Perfect. You guys are great. Totally great. You're on the list. I'll be sending out emails about this, so bring your people. And, um, and you, uh, th thanks for trying all the folks that tried different stuff. And just so you know, uh, Miguel, nothing has come through yet. So you still have to do the thing you have to do. So give us about an hour 
to get the one-liners into your member area, those of you that got it. Oh, we're excited to have you. And then on Saturday, Amy gave you the link. If you, maybe Amy put that there one more time, we will give you a link so you can register and pass that link on to other people. I think they can pass it on to other people, right, Amy? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let me, yeah. let me grab that really quick here. Yeah, that's for the Saturday. So you can bring, come yourself if you want and bring somebody with you that you think would be, would benefit from learning how to do this. My pleasure, totally. My pleasure. All right, there's the link. Okay, that's the link to the Zoom that we're gonna have on Saturday. Four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern. So it's gonna be a show like this with all the goodies at the end. Thanks for the reminder, Amy. Certainly, this is fun. Thanks yeah, for right? Fun. This was really great. Totally great. All right, are we all set? We're gonna see you Saturday and maybe email in between. All right. Sounds good. It's been my pleasure totally to have you come. All right, you guys, see you later. Bye.